the Earth's climate to reduce global warming. Ideas range from putting giant sunshades in space to sucking carbon dioxide from the air and burying it underground. Taking control of the atmosphere would radically change our relationship with the environment, and scientists are just starting to work out whether geoengineering is even doable, let alone desirable. In 2011, researchers came up with an experiment to see if particles could be put into the stratosphere in order to reduce the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface. A small amount of water would be pumped up to a balloon, a kilometre in the sky, and sprayed out. Some groups thought that this experiment shouldn't go ahead. To them, it seemed like a rush to develop a geoengineering technology. Critics of geoengineering, including many of the scientists who work on it, worry about who would use the technology, who would be the winners and losers, how we would agree on an ideal temperature, and what would happen if the technology was ever shut down. There's also concern that it could be seen as an alternative to reducing our carbon dioxide emissions. In the end, the scientists called off their balloon experiment. Research into geoengineering is forcing us to confront some difficult questions. It could become a planetary experiment that is hard to stop, one in which we are all participants. Geoengineering means deliberately manipulating the Earth's climate to reduce global warming. Ideas range from putting giant sunshades